And in fact, in many ways, I, I've, I've said this for years in, in discussing uh, Islamic apologetics. Uh, Islam is a, is a U-turn. Uh, Islam refuses to go as far and to accept the, the further revelation that God made of himself in the person of Jesus Christ. So it makes a U-turn and goes back to the position that the Jews had who refused likewise to allow that revelation on the part of the triune God of himself. Incarnation, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. They both reject the exact same thing, so they're going to argue the exact same way, and that's what they do. Um, what I see is... And this is, this is an argument that I haven't gotten a lot of interaction with. From the Old Testament to the New, you have the deep fulfillment, the deep intertextuality, the prophecies, so on and so forth. Once you get to the Quran, you have a U-turn. You have a U-turn. You go back, instead of accepting the fulfillment in the New Covenant and in the New Testament, in the coming of Christ, in the message for the whole world, you turn around, you go back to, well, Jesus was only a Messiah for the people of Israel, the Old Testament laws, dietary laws, the laws that define the theocratic nation of Israel, but now attempt to apply them in a much broader spectrum. And that's what's causing the problem. That's, that's a huge issue. That's a huge issue right there. Now, where does the Prophet Muhammad, on whom be peace, come in in all of this? He has a revelation from the Almighty God to call us back to the pristine monotheism. That is the monotheism of Jews and of the early Christians, where we have only one God. You can call him Father, Muslims do not, but that's mentioned in the Old Testament, and that's not where our quarrel lies. But, uh, our quarrel uh, between Muslims and Christians is uh, in the fact that Christians have taken uh, Jesus to be the eternally begotten Son of God, and that led to them declaring him to be fully God, and hence the unfolding of the doctrine of the Trinity. But if you... Uh, Father, Son, uh, Father's God, Son of God, and the Holy Spirit is God, it looks like you have three gods. Then what about the Son himself? Uh, if the Son uh, is begotten by the Father, now theoretically he can be beget his own sons and daughters as well. And uh, in fact, you can have multiple persons in the Godhead. And uh, the Trinity does not really deal with this. There's no verse in the Bible that limits the persons of the Trinity to exactly three. Uh, th there was a verse in 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, but that verse has now been revealed from modern translations of the Bible because that verse has been uh, declared by the Christian scholars to be a forgery in, into the Bible. And so once that is removed, we have a Bible that does not tell us that the total number of persons in the, Holy Tr uh, in, in the Godhead is only three. So theoretically, you can have uh, Jesus having his own sons and daughters, and you have a multiplicity in that unity. Thank you very much.